Now, this is the Hollywood agent that put the Fauda deal together with Netflix, is that right? That's correct. What was it like trying to sell Fauda in a foreign language to an international audience? It was, uh, it was difficult, but the show is so exceptional. Several people wanted it, so there was actually a bidding war for it, and we got a very... We probably got the highest price ever for an Israeli show to be sold to another outlet, a distributor in America in Hebrew. Has the receptivity to a program from an Israeli perspective changed over the last 10, 15 years? Of course, and if the shows are good and they have very high quality shows, people are interested. It has to be relatable outside of Israel, that's super important. Has 9-11 changed that? Not that I'm aware of. I, I, not that I'm aware of. I mean, the receptivity to uh, looking at... Those I don't think so. The prob The thing about Israel is they don't have a lot of money for their TV shows, so it's all based on character. Great television is based on character, not action. They have great uh, creators there. They do things on a budget, and it translates to the Western world, the rest of the Western world. Did you feel that Israel's story has been adequately depicted? Never. But there's always two sides to every story. Well, well, where's Israel's side in, in, in the movies and TV? For the past? I think it's it's it, it's happened in the past and it will happen again. But right now, the Palestinians are perceived as the underdog and Israel's perceived as the bullies. And it's harder to portray the positive aspects of Israel in this day and age, especially with the BDS. And the Israeli government's not helping themselves with their impressions outside the world of, of how they're treating minorities. I hope so. That's why I take people to Israel every year, to get them to see both sides of the perspective. It's my hope that when people actually go, their feelings will change, and it does. I've had six trips so far with the major studio executives, network presidents, writers, directors, producers, and actors, and they all come back with a completely different feel and understanding the complexity of the problems there. How does it feel to get an award from the Israel Film Festival? I felt mixed because I'm not used to getting award as an agent. I'm used to seeing my clients get awards, but I was really touched, and I think it actually was for a reason that was well-deserved in terms of my contributions to Israeli entertainment business.